chestnuts finally out of her little hidey hole. After, like, how long were you buried for? Like, two, three weeks? So cute, so cute. I love my Arizona blonde. She's so cute. Actually, everybody's out tonight. Actually, it's 5 a.m. Let's see. Oh, yeah, pumpkin's out, too. Look at my little spiders! Coming out to play. Too bad Ivy's not out. I wish Ivy would come out. Remy was out, but Remy ran right back into their hole. But it's okay. I can still see their butt. Let's see who else is out since everybody's coming out to play. Oh, there's my little Mexican red knee spiderling. Remy suck at this angle. So cute. I can't believe everybody's out right now. It's actually a rare sight to see the majority of them out. A lot of them actually just like to stay in their little burrows, but everybody's actually out. I actually fed them, though. They all just fed the other day, and then I got... Oh, sorry, I'm itching my back. I actually got um fruit flies for the slings today. I fed the slings today. The adults I actually fed yesterday. So I'm actually surprised they're all out now. Makes me wonder if, um... I wonder if Wednesday's out. If these guys are out, I wonder if my big girl's out. She was actually out yesterday, and my idiot self did not videotape her. I wasn't thinking about it. I don't see her. She's getting so big. Right now, she's actually over on that side of the cage down below. She kind of moved her burrow. But she's getting so big. She's bigger than Aragog. So she's becoming mature pretty fast. Which I'm so happy about. Yeah, you can hear my bed making noise. I'm moving around my room. There's my baby! <laughs> All the slings are out right now because they are having fun eating. Did those fruit flies get out? In the way. I miss some of them in the container crap. That's my Texas tan winter. I kind of. Oops. <laughs> I opened the, the container to, to throw that stupid. There they are. They're getting big. My Texas tans are, besides my one curly hair sling, are one of the first slings that I actually bought a couple months ago. They're finally getting bigger. And of course my phone. Jeez, I hate this phone. I can't wait to get my new phone. It's so dark. Look. There we go. But yeah, there's winter. Winter was so freaking tiny. Of course the fruit flies are getting up. Yeah, those stupid holes. Because I punctured extra holes in it. Because the slings, they don't, obviously, they don't get out. But... Some of these tiny fruit flies, I didn't think about it. I put extra holes down towards the bottom because, yeah. That was before when my room was getting pretty warm. And I wanted to make sure there's plenty of ventilation in there. But I didn't think about the size of the fruit flies that I just bought today. They're super tiny and they're getting out of this, this hole right there. I'm going to have to tape that. There's plenty of holes everywhere, but I seriously did not think about it when I did that hole. I just wanted proper ventilation towards the bottom. Any you other know, bigger ones I need to cover up? I think that's the only one. That's the only one I actually... I didn't try to make it that big. That was actually an accident. But I knew the sling couldn't get out, so I wasn't really worried about it. I wasn't thinking about it. But now that I thought about it, it's like, oh, that's stupid. And then fruit flies can get out. And how's the baby gonna eat? Uh, yeah, I gotta have tape around here somewhere. Oh my god. My dresser's filled with nothing but bath and body work, so. I'm a bath and body work junkie. I have an addiction to bath and body works. That could be worse, though. I got worse addictions than freaking body sprays and body lotions so oh and my gels so it can't be that bad 
I just got like over a hundred of each item. Like no lie, I've actually showed you guys my closet. And that drawer is filled, that drawer is filled, that drawer is drawer is filled, that drawer is filled. All these drawers are filled. Hey look, I think I found a small cricket loose on that box over right here. Oh, where did it go? Dang damn it. I don't know where it crawled up to. It's all crawling over here. I have two boxes of crickets that I actually got to do still come later. I didn't do them yet. We came home yesterday from the pet store and it was storming so hard. Like we got in the door just in time. And I totally forgot about the freaking crickets I bought. <laughs> Until about like one o'clock this morning because I ended up passing out and I was like Crap, I forgot about the crickets. Luckily, of course, there's air holes. Seems they're good for a couple hours being in that box It's not like they don't sit on the store shelves all night in those damn things anyways So it's not really a big deal, honestly They should be fine. I've dealt with leaving them in the box overnight before as it is I bought crickets the one time before and I ended up getting sick and I couldn't do anything till the next day, so they were fine. And you hear crickets all over my room as it is. I'm trying to see if any other slings are out. At the same time, I'm over here trying to find tape, so don't worry. It's not like I didn't forget about my little sling pot over there. I have drawers everywhere. I just don't remember. God, why do I lose everything? Women, I swear, us women really do lose everything. Well, some of us anyways. If you're like me, you lose everything. I'm just really happy Chestnut's back out. I haven't seen Chestnut in like two, three weeks. Yeah, about two, three weeks. Hey, baby, I missed you. Mommy's missed you. I threw three crickets in there for her. So happy to see her out. She's eating a munching. She went after those crickets. I don't leave her to come out to feed her. I knew she was in molt and she was molting and stuff. So I waited for her cue to come out. That's what I do. I wait for them to let me know when they are done molting. That's the best thing you do with your tarantula. You let them come out and start foraging, looking for their food. That way you definitely know. Well, if you know they're in a molt cycle, that's the best thing to do. And tarantulas always come out of their burrows when they are foraging for food. That's the number one sign that you know they are done molting. Look how fat Chase is. And Chase has a fat belly. Here's another fat cat go. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you're hunting again. Now you see how fat he is. I only feed him once every three days. And yet my golden gecko became a little fat marshmallow. I should just name him Marshmallow instead, but I already picked his name months ago, so he already knows his name. We can't change that. Marshmallow is a cute name though. I think my next lizard I'll get I'll name it Marshmallow. If it's the right colors. I know my phone's probably out of focus. I have a box next to my bed with batteries and all kinds of stuff. I'm trying to find tape. Still foraging for that tape. Tag a tape up the side. Up, up. Oh, I think I found it. Yep, I have all kinds of earwork sprays and candles. I love candles. Candles are one of my favorite things. I love anything that has to do with anything that smells good. I got all kinds of candles. Actually, that one's not burning right. I'm going to have to fix the wax on that one. It really annoys me. If the candle starts burning messed up, then I stop it and I refix it. Because at first, this candle was burning so messed up, and then I fixed it, and now it's burning perfect again. Yeah. I'm going to relight this one. This one I'll just put down here and I'll fix that tomorrow. I like this one. Don't worry. Uh, it doesn't interfere with the tank. Like, they're not pressed up against the cage, so it's actually, it might look like it's pressed up against the cage, but it's really not pressed up against the cage. There's actually a gap between the cage and the candle. So, trust me, I won't let my cages burn or get hot.
I'm gonna have to get a new lighter soon. Yeah, so it's not totally up against the glass and stuff. There is uh, spots where, especially if, well, Bella doesn't really come out, but if Bella would come out, trust me, this is not hot. It's safe. I do gotta clean that glass, though. I hate my water. The water around here is ridiculous. But anyways, I found the tape. Let's see if we can fix this. There we go. This way, no more fruit flies will escape because I can't have them escaping. That's the baby's food. Winter needs to eat. I don't need to be catching fruit flies and shoving them back in there. Winter's getting big though. I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna double check the pot. I don't think I have anything too big on the top. Nope, they're all pinholes. Yeah, the fruit flies can't get out of any of those holes. Yeah, they're too big for those. Just sitting here watching them crawl across. Yeah, that, they're too big for that. Alright, that was the only big one from what I can see. <laughs> I think Winter is just up on her. <laughs> just up on her log. So cute. So happy my Texas tans are getting big. Of course, there's my fish shoes. I'm really happy though my tarantulas are out. I'm actually surprised. I'm really surprised a lot of them are out. Even though the babies are hunting. I know that much. Um, Autumn was out. Autumn caught its crickets. And they went back into their little hide. Autumn's hide's over here. Autumn keeps just popping out from this corner. It's so freaking cute. Like the dens right here. And then next thing you know they just they pop out every couple of days. And I feed them. It's just so freaking adorable. Let's see, where's Sky's little tiny butt at? Hey, Sky, my Antilles, pink toe. I can't wait until they get bigger. Oh my goodness, where's Jade at? Where's Jade? Jade's normally up in her or his. I don't even know if it's a boy or girl yet. Up in their tree. Right there's Jade. Look like Jade molted, actually. There's a moat right there. Oh, we are gonna be a grass little, grass little grower, huh? You can see the fruit flies in here. Like I said, I just fed all the babies. And then the big ones all got crickets. Like, the sky's hunting. Oh yeah. Oh, why'd you gotta go out of focus, you stupid camera? Especially when Jade's in the middle of hunting. I mean, sky's in the middle of hunting. Oh my god, I'm staring at one and the other. Get him, Sky, get him. I thought Sky was a good name because of the color blue that they are. And plus, Sky could be a boy or a girl's name, so I thought that was a good name. This is Lotus. Lotus ain't never really out. Lotus is normally, like, over in this area. There's fruit flies in here, but I give them tiny crickets, too. Because I still go back and forth with some of my slings. Some of my slings are still on the in-between part of being a sling because they're not upgraded yet like these uh, bigger ones are as as you see some of them are now upgraded so they get tiny pinheads they don't get and of course up there phoenix is up there mj's right there and of course autumn was over on my other dresser and then we got viper and sapphire are all upgraded. Posies over here. Posies doing a beautiful webbing. There's my Trinidad Olive. Now I fed Posy earlier. Posy came running from over in this area. So it made a nest in the moss. Um let's see if any more slings are out. That's summer. This is my baby Arizona Blondie. I don't think they're out either. Mm, nope, I don't see summer. Let's see if our night. Let's see if night fury's out. I'm really happy that most of the adults are out though. Of course, my Costa Rican striped knees are rare to see out. In my recent video, I did show Aragog. 
which I was really impressed to see him out because, like I said, it's rare to see him. And of course, go figure it when Wednesday was out, I didn't have my camera. Now, there's a tiny cricket in here. That little dot's a cricket. Because this Texas tan is actually growing faster than the other one. Don't know why, but for some reason that one's growing a lot quicker. So, Night Fury is growing faster than winter. Winter and summer are still tiny still. Because that's my baby Arizona Blondie. And the other one's my Texas tan. They're growing pretty slow. But I can see why. Because chestnuts actually growing slow too. Compared to all my other tarantulas. Chestnut here is growing pretty slow. But there's... She's putting on a decent weight though. I did have her checked. She is, her last, her molt was checked. She is a confirmed female. From what they can tell. She's still young, but they were able to tell a little bit that she's definitely looking female. Oh, stupid me. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to fix her butt sticking out at least. But <laughs> maybe she'll pop back out. But yeah, from what they saw, I had, some, I had someone that I know as an expert with tarantulas check their molt. Like if I can't always tell, I actually have someone in my family that knows a lot about tarantulas because that's how I was taught from some of my uncles and stuff. And I have them check the molts and they are able to let me know. I, let, I show them the molt. I, well, I give them the molt and stuff and they check it for me. They have a little scope and everything to check everything. So that's how I know. Plus, some of these that I ordered, I was already told if they were male or female. But I still have them double checked because just because someone tells you if the male or female doesn't mean it's always a right. So I always get them double checked. That one's a confirmed male. Less curly hair. Remy, I'm not sure yet. Remy has to be checked still. Pumpkin is a confirmed. Well, I bought pumpkin as a. Pumpkin's female, Raven's a female. Autumn and oh look, wait, Autumn popped out. <laughs> this is a key part that I was talking about. You guys gotta see this. Oh, you see it? It's just these little feet sticking out. <laughs> look how cute is that? They just start slowly popping out, like it's a little tree limb coming out. That's actually Autumn. That's my curly hair tarantula sling. <laughs> That was my first curly hair change listing. That's autumn. I'm waiting for... <laughs> you see how they just pop out like a weirdo like that? I don't know why. For some reason, autumn just likes to pop out like a goofball. I don't know if it sees the sling roaming around over here next to it. And just thinks, oh, I'm going to come pop out and try to eat it. Or what, but they're so cute, though. Look, camera, stop being stupid. They're so cute. <laughs> so adorable. All you see is these furry little legs sticking out like little, little bush branches. I can't get over how cute that is. So I said, they just pop out of nowhere. Some of them I'm trying to get confirmed still about being males and females, but some of them are still too young. So every time they molt, I'm still waiting on the answer. Like, even though Ivy's a girl's name, I'm still waiting to find out. For truly, if Ivy is a boy or a girl, Phoenix is still too small, which a Phoenix is up there. Still waiting for Phoenix. Remy, I gotta get a molt from to double check on them. Aragog down there, I know it's a boy. Wednesday, I know it's a girl. So, I do have plenty. I have a decent amount of between males and females. I have a lot of slings yet, though, to find out what they truly are. I can't wait till some of them get bigger, because they're going to be so beautiful. Tarantulas are so misunderstood, and it's sad. Oh, that cricket's still in there. They didn't eat yet. If they don't eat it by tomorrow, I'm going to take it out. Because the dens are burrowed. Mm, I don't know. Both ends are shut. Normally that's a sign. Well, for me, it's a sign. With some of my tarantulas, when they do that, they are in the middle of pre-
spray molt or actually molting. So that cricket's gonna have to come out. So after I'm done filming this, I'm actually gonna have to take that cricket out because Sapphire covered themselves. So because Sapphire did that, I'm gonna have to take them out because I don't know. And I'm not gonna disturb them, but I don't know, they might be molting. Because the rest of them, as you see, their hides are open perfectly. So, because of that, yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't put Viper. That's right, Viper's still over here. That's right. It was Reaper. Reaper, I ended up doing. I forgot about that. Reaper's the one I put up there. That's right, because it's Reaper and Sapphire. I need to mark the cages. I remember because of the, the plant. It's stupid. I remember because of the plants. What plants were in their tanks. That's Reaper. But it's the problem is some of their plants are the same. That's right. I didn't do Viper yet because, the see, Viper is getting big. But Viper, that's right. I wanted to get an arboreal tank for. I ended up doing Reaper instead. Ugh. My memory slips sometimes. Because there's MJ. And my Veracruz Red Rump is on this shelf. They're getting a new, that's Galaxy. Oh, look, see, there it comes. We came back out. Oh, there's gotta be a molt in there. Yeah, she had to been molting. I'm gonna take that molt and get it double checked. Like I said, I like to keep it in check. And these two pots are empty. They're waiting for new baby slings. Which, of course, you know me, if I have an empty pot, it's going to be filled. So, that's coming up. I changed Peach's enclosure. The soil in there was getting too damp, which I didn't like. So, I put Peach's in, put in a dry substrate. Peach's is still mad at me. Peach's is hiding underneath the... Underneath the dirt and stuff, they're still pissed off. But the soil was getting too damp because the problem with these pots is they get they stay moist too easily, and I I don't like that. With some of the slings, that's okay, but with the morning gecko, though, it's not okay for it to be like damp like that. And oh, indigestion. And the simple fact is that I'm trying to get more of those online, especially one for peaches, but. Every time I try to go to order them on AliExpress, where I can originally get them from, they've been sold out. So, I'm actually going to go on, when I get paid again, I'm actually going to go on, um, Tarantula Cribs. But the thing is, Tarantula Cribs, honestly, I love their enclosures, but you have to have a lot of money to order from them. Even if you use, like, a lot of codes... That you get from a lot of the influencers that you can get from. Like, you can use Cat10 from um, Tarantula Cat. You can use her code and get 10% off. But you gotta remember how much each enclosure costs. They're not cheap. And when you have a lot of slings and stuff, it's... it's uh, yeah. I love my animals. I love my animals. But, and I love that website. But they're expensive. But if you go on AliExpress, I ain't gonna lie. AliExpress is actually pretty cheap. And they have good enclosures. Like that one up that one up there only cost me eight bucks even with shipping. <laughs> you get something like that on trash like crab and you're paying like forty freaking dollars. Don't get me wrong, I love the website. I really do, but they're really expensive. But if I can get a nice enclosure for a cheaper price, I'm actually gonna do it because they're not gonna stay in some of the enclosures long. Because eventually they're all gonna be moved into three gallons, five gallons, ten gallons. Like they're all gonna be moved around into bigger cages. They ain't staying in these. Some of them will. Some of them will stay in these. But a lot of them aren't. And like coconut here, Remy, they're not staying in these cages. They're being upgraded. They're all getting being moved into five gallons. Actually probably that's actually a lie. Actually, they might go into 10 gallons because curly hair tarantulas get pretty big. So, I might bypass the 5 gallon and put them in 10 gallons. That's what I'm actually going to do. Because, like I said, Rex is about to be switched into Arboreal. So is Jace. 
And I'm going to use those 10 gallons for a coconut and Remy. And then some of the other ones that will next be upgraded will go into these enclosures instead. I had it all figured out in my head. I just got to do it all. And then these guys are going to get taller enclosures. These guys, because when Raven gets a little bit bigger, they're actually going to get a bunch of cages. I'm getting a bunch of those cages like that. A bunch of the Exoterra or the Zoom Meds. I have both. I, have, I believe that one's my Exoterra and that one over there is my Zoom Med. Or it's the other way around. One of the two, but they're basically the same anyways. Everybody knows their damn cages are like the same damn thing. Except for the brand name. And maybe a little bit of a difference. But I'm going to be upgrading them into big square cages. Anyways, a lot of the airborne ones are going to go in there. A lot of these other guys are going to go in there. But, yeah. Everything is going to be upgraded. And you know when I say I upgrade my spiders and stuff, I upgrade them. As you see, all the upgrades I have been doing lately, especially with just the slings. And honestly, they didn't even need to be moved out of those pots yet because some of them are still the size of, like, Viper here. They still have plenty of room to grow out in these pots, but... Honestly, I don't like the pots. I don't like the containers. And every other container I try to find for slings, I I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. And I was just used to having reptiles and having them being in bigger spaces to move around. And I know tarantulas don't need huge spaces. But I just feel like they need some room to... I don't know. Not just because of... You know, they need the room because they love their burrows. They love the safety of a comfort small area. But I think it's a good hunting for them and good enrichment for them. Because out in the wild, they have their dens, but they do come out to fur scavenger around for their food. Now, I don't mean you need to go out and get like a 20 gallon aquarium for them or anything but you know something big enough for them to wander around throughout their cages so they have a little something to do because look coconut has all this little space to run around and raven has our whole space like they all have plenty of space to forage around and look for their food and then run right back in their hole like remy does but it's a good enrichment for them actually and just because their tarantulas don't think they don't need enrichment because that's actually really good for them too because you don't want your tarantula to get bored i think once a tarantula starts to get bored and they don't get the enrichment and the excitement of their hunt i think that's when some of them can get kind of testy i've noticed as i saw you people complain about their tarantulas being testy or they're flighty or this and that. I'm like, well, give them some enrichment to do. Like, let them forage around for their food. Let them run around and release their little energy and stuff. Like, make them happy. Like, they deserve to have some running space, too. They don't need to be cramped up in some small-ass cage. Right, guys? Tell everybody. Say, we like to hunt. And we like to run around. Right, babies? That's what I've noticed. A lot of my, some of my trashes, like the Trinidad Chevron, yes, it can be a little flighty and stuff, but that's because it doesn't like to be bothered. It likes to sit there, and it's nest. It likes to actually crawl around. Like, this guy doesn't just stay in the web. Guy or girl, I don't know which one it is yet, but as you see, it's webbed up this whole side. But throughout the day, I watch it, and it crawls around this whole pot, like just... Up and down, weaving through, running around, catching its food, or just going for a stroll. And it's like, the more it does that, and the more it has freedom of space, the more I've noticed that it's more chill. It's not as flighty and, and like, has pent up aggression because it's walking around and it's enjoying its little freedom of space. So, before, when I first had it in that little tiny pot, it was not happy. It's in this tight space. It needs room. The more I notice that it has more freedom and the amount of space for them to walk around, the less aggressive and flighty some of them become. They have, I don't know, it just it just changes them. So, if you guys have a transfer, don't keep them pent up. 
Yes, they like the security of certain hot their hides and their holes. They don't like to be bothered. Just make sure they have plenty of water. Make sure they they have their food when they they're hungry. Pay attention to when they're molting, pre molt. As long as you do all that, and then give them plenty of space to roam around, let them hunt, let them just walk around or do whatever at night. You're ex- they actually are pretty chill. All my tarantulas are pretty laid back. I don't have problems with any of them. When I rehoused all these slings, I didn't have any problems with them. I see people fighting their slings. And like, oh, this is going to be a challenge. Like, this, this spider is really bolty. Or, yes, that's the nature of some tarantulas. Some species are naturally like that. No matter what you do, I do understand that for the most part. But as long as you just, like... Just let them chill and let them do their thing. And you just rehouse them and just let them be. They're they're all pretty chill spiders. All the species I have so far, I've gotten lucky with my spiders. They're all very, they're all very chill. I don't really have problems with any of my spiders. The only one that's a little flighty sometimes is the Trinidad. But honestly, you know what I think that is? Is the link because this pot, even though yes, it's still small... I don't think it's the proper size for it. I think it needs more space because when I'm opening it, it's right here at the top. So it's being bothered and it doesn't like that. So once I notice that it's being bothered and it doesn't like that, it's time to change it. Because I don't want my spider to be bothered or irritated. So what I'm going to do is find one like that and make sure there's plenty of sticks and branches and I'm put a pl- I'm gonna put a plant in there like one of these plants like Raven has and let it just create its own beautiful nest and that way because like the way the top of those are they're easy just to open flaps instead of me trying to rip the stupid top off like I won't have to bother it much I'll just have to put some fresh water in make sure it's clean and food it here every time it needs fed, but for the most part, it will have a brand new web, it would be a bigger space, and I think it would be less bolty, which is going to be our experiment. When I upgrade them, we're going to see how if the spider's behavior changes, because I honestly think it's because of the way the lid is and where they're positioned, and that's why it's so flighty. And I think once I upgrade them into a bigger enclosure, and more spaces to have create a bigger web area. I think they're not going to be as bolty. But we're going to find out. That is going to be our experiment with the Trinidad Chaffron. Even though they are a pretty bolty species. And it can be here or there with them. But we're going to try this experiment. Because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to figure out better ways to house our spiders. That way they're not, I don't know, as flighty or people call like, I hate how the, the, everyone calls the Mexican red romps evil, that they say they're evil species and they're bad and they give them a bad name, but my Mexican red romp, Reaper is not a bad spider. I actually have had more easy time transferring my Mexican red romp than some of my other ones. And people are like, oh, they're evil. They're this, they're that. I wish I wish they weren't hunkered down, but I really think right now Reaper is uh, molting. So, But when Reaper comes back out, I'll show you guys. My Mexican Red Rump is not evil like they portray and try to say they are. I really hate that. Spiders aren't evil. They just don't want to be bothered. They just want to live in their burrows and live safely. And they just want to be happy and eat and just be left alone right mj mj is like oh, whatever <laughs> i love my mexican randy my very first turns that i had it was in kindergarten it was a mexican randy that's why this spider is really special to me i want to get another one so far they haven't had any babies they had large ones for like 90 dollars plus 50 dollars in shipping and it's like i'm not paying that I'd rather get a baby. Right? Instead of paying $200 for, like, a, a older one, I'd rather pay $100 for a baby. Because that's all I paid for MJ. I paid $100. Because $50 was shipping. MJ only cost 50 bucks, Which is not a bad price. 
but I'm actually good. I actually gotta feed the iguanas. It's actually almost six o'clock in the morning, and I think I probably should take a nap and get some sleep. That way I can get up and finish cleaning some of my fish tanks and stuff. I just gotta do a water change on them tomorrow. The filter's clean and everything. I just gotta do a water change to top it off. I gotta do indigos. I did last night. I actually already did the betas. They were done. Plus, I gotta do crickets and stuff in a couple hours because actually I do some feedings for everybody so I'm actually gonna take a nap and I'm so happy that our girl chestnut is back out from her molting so I gotta dig in her hide then and see where her mold is you can see her color pattern has totally changed look at that the tan and the black on her is so oh my goodness so gorgeous so much bolder such a beautiful spider. I love Arizona Blondies. They are freaking gorgeous. I am so happy she's out of molt. I'm definitely going to have to dig in there for her molt. Because I'm going to get it checked for the third time. But they're just, Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for my baby Arizona Blondie to get a lot bigger. I haven't seen them online for a while. I've been trying to buy another one, but I haven't seen any. So, because of that... Yeah, I just got to wait and see if I can find another one. In a couple weeks, I'm gonna order another sling and decide which one to get. Let's see what they have. So, can so excited. So, I will see you guys in a little bit. Say good night. Say good night, chestnut.